I used to be a big fan of Notion. I use it in many ways. For instance, I'm a software developer. I write in tons of technical notes on the Notion and also manage my coding projects. But somehow I just feel lost. I feel lost because it just drives me crazy. Whenever I open the Notion app, like after a couple of weeks, and then I have to re-log in in order to open the desktop app or the app from my iPhone. It's really annoying. In order to log in, I have to you know connect the internet and also make sure the network speed is quite okay at any situation if I want to use Notion. And once I open the Notion, the speed doesn't stay in the flow. If I try to search some fire, at that moment, I have to wait. I have to wait. Wait. I have to wait until the fire I'm searching for eventually show up on the, on the search list. And then I have to open it. Sometimes if I have to open that fire for quite a while, it will take another minute to really finally load the fire for me. Whenever I use Notion, it happens all the time. When I was focused on my testing, writing my thoughts out, and process everything, when I'm done, and then suddenly my network is cut out for some reason, and then I cannot, I cannot save the file. The Notion doesn't save the file automatically for me because Notion needs the network connection. And then I have to you know, make sure I reconnect my network and I wait until it's saved before I close the Notion. But with Obsidian, I don't have to worry anything. I just use it, I just write down my thoughts. When I'm done, I don't have to, you know, think about the saving process. It automatically saved for me because all my files is on my computer. I'm not saying I have to save all my files on my computer. What I mean is, what I mean is, if Notion can save the file even without the network connection, it just save the file as a draft, you know, as a temporary store in the memory. And whenever I hit the internet connection, and then the Notion will automatically save my old drafts. They will be very nice, but it's not. If my note is not saved at that moment when I lose my network connection, I cannot leave my note like this. I cannot shut down Notion because my note will be gone. <laughs> Another big reason I really, really enjoy working with uh, Obsidian is because Obsidian provides remote. It's really, really absolute. It's a really amazing feature which is not very common in many note-taking applications I, because I am a Vim user. Back, I delete this one and undo it. You see, I can delete something like inside this quote. Get in, quote, get in. And also I can, yeah, delete this, and undo this, and go to the number. And anything else? Yeah. Can I copy this and I pass this. Yeah. Go to the top. Yeah. We can tap something like it is a demo. Use. Of CD. Yeah. Yeah, we can redo everything. Yes. And then I select all of this. If I don't want this, just delete. But I keep it. Besides the fast note editing feature by Vim. I also needed to connect many dots, many of my thoughts in the past and recreate to generate new ideas. So that's why I need a faster search. These two features are all included in Obsidian. 
Another feature I enjoy the most about using Obsidian is the Markdown editor. You probably argue in, inside the notes you can also write Markdown syntax. Yes, it's true. But as a programmer, I tend to write tons of articles with a code block. Inside the notes, if I try to write, for instance, I use JavaScript, a TypeScript a lot. If I write some code block inside the notes, I have to screw through the menu to choose the language I needed. But inside of City, I just type the language because I because that's a very intentional behavior. I know what kind of language I need for this uh, piece of code. I don't need to be told which language I need to pick from the... I don't want to move my finger from keyboard to mouse to open the menu to choose the language syntax, etc. So Nozzy is like try to be a Magda for people who love writing Magda, but also cares maybe some other uh, populations who doesn't know anything about Magda, who only know the plain text. And this kind of mix really annoying me because it's like it's kind of like a Magda editor, but it's not a, a purely Magda editor. Especially writing code block inside the notes really, really bother me. Of course, Obsidian is not the best application for all purposes. But when it comes to PKM, aka Personal Knowledge Management, it's really great too. Because for the personal purpose, we really don't want to be interrupted by the internet connection. We only want to focus our attention on the writing, on the processing, our thoughts. So offline mode is a really, really big requirement for us. And many people talk about Obsidian doesn't have a, the feature of collaboration compared to, you know, Notion. Yes, I totally agree. Notion is really great aiming for the collaboration. But as I said at the beginning, Obsidian is really great fit for the, for the personal knowledge management. Just want to focus our attention on our writing, on our note taking system. We can choose whether we should publish our thoughts by writing articles or produce some videos or not. We don't necessarily have to worry about external noise. We don't have to worry about our team members' comments, etc. We only focus on our own thoughts. This is our personal workspace, our personal space to, to allow us to focus our attention on our note-taking process. For any of you who are interested in using Vim inside Obsidian, you can check out my previous video. I put the link in the description below.